Just Chanel here. Hey guys, Just Chanel here. Welcome to my channel. It's another weekly vlog. It's Sunday, my favorite day of the week. So y'all know I'm coming with it. <laughs> anyway, okay, so uh, good morning. I just finished watching church. Y'all know that I watch the first service, which is at around 9 a.m. Um, I like I just like to watch and listen to it and then the second service I take notes on so I've completed that I just made myself some breakfast a little avocado toast and some chicken apple sausage I really love chicken apple sausage now like wow it's good and then of course I'm drinking tea this is like my favorite mug and it's the quality brand scripture I need to actually create a mug like this mm. perfection mm. all right so this is the wellness tonic that I'm drinking it looks like that. It's packed with a ton of immune boosting ingredients because y'all know the pandemic is still here. The number of positive cases are rising. So I wanted to craft something that can boost your immunity. And yeah, the wellness tonic is full of ginger, turmeric, hibiscus, uh, lemongrass. It tastes great. It doesn't taste too earthy. And you know, it's just a nice light caffeine free blend that you can squeeze a little bit of lemon in and enjoy every single day all day this is actually my third cup this morning i think i finally perfected my avocado toast seasoning so yeah Whew. this is gonna be like a seasoning week for me mm. first of all that toast is way too crunchy <laughs> i'm gonna be working but i but this week i am gonna work on I'm finalizing some of my seasoning blends. And then, of course, it is the week of Thanksgiving. So um, I'm going to put up my tree soon. We're going to decorate the tree. I'm cooking for Thanksgiving. Um, and, yeah, there's just a lot going on, like Black Friday. We have so many new products. So this vlog is going to be really full of fun, celebration, thankfulness, gratefulness. Um, and, yeah, make sure you're subscribed. Stay tuned. Ariel here. <laughs> the realtor atlanta's best realtor homemade in atlanta uh she's picking up some tea items for personalized boxes for her clients for the holidays so we have we chose two teas based on her client base one being chocolate chai which is a great tea to steep in coffee and then the other being the thankful blend which is nice because thanksgiving is right around the corner we have some dipper sticks honey bags to bag the tea and then we're going to include a mug and of course gift boxes and description cards and thank you cards and all that stuff yes. eh. she's like the best like wow yeah. this is a great idea thanks so thankful yeah. right do this for your clients, family members, create a personalized box. Email oh, us if you are interested. That's right. <laughs> Go ahead and email us if you're interested in personalizing a box for a loved one or for your business. We are very happy to help. We will probably put somewhere in here like a picture of the finished box. Mm -hmm. And I know we're just gonna keep on working, fill some orders, that's what I'm about to do. And I need to finish editing, so that's the plan. Just got done editing the vlog for today. Thank goodness. And it's about 6 p.m. So I'm going to be able to get this up for y'all to see. And I think I'm going to take a bubble bath and just enjoy the rest of my Sunday. So I will catch y'all tomorrow. Hold up. Wait a minute. It's still Sunday. I ended up not taking a bubble bath because I did a wax. Um, so anyway, now that I'm all showered and waxed and all that stuff i am going ahead and diving into the weekly prayer project i purchased this from target and it's basically like a prayer journal but it's a weekly prayer journal so you have a topic each week and then you're able to pray on that particular topic each week i really like it this is my third week doing it so i'm on 
1 Kings 18, 36 through 37. And the topic is nothing is impossible. Check this out at Target. It's really nice because you literally have a verse that you focus on, a prayer, and then you're able to just, you know, write down your prayer. And I like to kind of visit this a couple times throughout the week and, you know, make sure I'm just not forgetting to pray for anything. I think it's really important to like write down your prayer list, whether that's you're praying for family or friends, uh, you're praying for yourself. You may have prayer requests. You may just be thanking God. So whatever that is, um, I think it's really important to write down. And I like this resource. So check it out at Target, the weekly prayer project. Good morning, y'all. It's Monday. I am just about to uh, take these packages to the post office, grab some stuff from the grocery store. This is what I packaged up yesterday. And uh, yeah, go ahead and start my day. I have to do some Black Friday emails. It's Thanksgiving week, so I'm trying to get everything done by like Wednesday afternoon um, because, you know, it's going to be a really bigger, busy weekend. This is supposed to be like the biggest shopping weekend of the year. So let's get to it. I'm probably going to drink Summer Snatch this morning. I already have a lemon out right here. So. Just a little bit of summer snatch and a whole lot of water because I, I just feel dehydrated. Just sent this email. Super cute. I made this little graphic in Canva. So we're having some VIP deals leading up to Black Friday. Today, free shipping on orders over $50, $25 a jewelry while supplies last. We have a little bit more in stock. And then $7 tea and a free tea storage tin when you purchase three or more blends. Of course, the PJ set and the Quality Woman Nude Sweatshirt, which is super, super cute. I wanted to go ahead and feature the Wellness Tonic, especially because it's so important to build our immune systems during this time. And then the new necessities sampler which is super cute which oh my goodness i did not save the little button <laughs> that's supposed to go right here to buy that but i think you can probably click and it'll automatically take you to it yeah there we go so that is what the email looks like super cute um, i'm really happy with it and i have a little countdown for the shipping at the bottom i just got my flight attendant scheduled y'all for december and girl I'm a whole senior mama out here. I held Christmas Eve, Christmas Day, New Year's Eve, New Year's Day off. And then got just overnight trips. Like, that's wild. Like, one day trip. So, I'll be home every day, like, during the day, pretty much. And that's crazy. Like, wow. Perfect schedule to go back to work. Like, absolutely no complaints. I mean, it really couldn't be any better. <laughs> making dinner i have the kids with me so i'm making dinner a little earlier because they're hungry this says playing in the background y'all should really check this out on youtube it's called protect her and it's by stephanie ike which i know she's a pastor at potter's house uh la and that's the church of like pastor uh torre and sarah jakes roberts so this is a great conversation between stephanie megan good erica campbell and angelica the founder of the shade room um they're just talking about protecting black women and it's just a it's just a really nice sisterhood type of conversation this rice is going um so i just combined a little bit of water a cup of rice and then i'm putting in some chicken broth I'm gonna add some butter and then of course cover this and let it cook. I'm also making, I don't know if I said this already, but broccoli and orange chicken. So just a nice balanced, easy meal. Auntie Chanel hooked up dinner. Honey chicken <laughs> with broccoli and brown rice, right? I am editing this video to try to get up tonight. It's about 7.30, but I may just wait till tomorrow. Kids are clean, eating dinner. I'm feeling really accomplished, okay? Like, ooh, child, it's been a long day. Uh, so, yeah, I have, this is, I think, only 20-something minutes of raw footage because I already edited some of it, but I probably have another hour or so to add. So, yeah, actually, I think I'm going to get this up tomorrow, but I'm going to try to uh, edit the majority tonight. I just washed my hair, and I was about two minutes into blow-drying, and my blow-dryer broke. So, love that for me. It's Tea Tuesday. I have a lot of stuff with me right now. About to go to a little coffee shop, take some product photos, and hopefully some photos of myself uh, for the website. At this little coffee shop, I have a facial schedule for today, but it's in like 30 minutes, so I'm not gonna be able to make it, so I just rescheduled that. Um, and I'm just here to get some content photos. I'm trying to get some photos for the website. Um, I did order some food, and I just painted my nails, because y'all know I, my nails are usually long, but I didn't really want those photos on the, um, 
the website with like long nails, it's hard to hold mugs and stuff with long nails. So I will show you all the food and try to pop the camera up to see the little shoot. Here's what I got to eat. This chicken biscuit has some cheese on it. I don't know why I got this dog. It's so fattening. My hair looks actually really good. Um, and I didn't flat iron it how I usually do. I did big chunks. So I probably only flat ironed like, let's say 20 to 30 pieces. But anyway, um, I kind of like it bigger because sometimes when I, I I think I mentioned this in the last vlog. When I flat iron my hair, it'd be like real flat and I hate flat hair. So anyway, it's kind of bigger, you know? And if I sleep on it, it's gonna be real big tomorrow and I like it. So we just finished up taking some photos. I'm really trying to get photos for the homepage for the website. I feel like I got a solid four or five just to kind of, you know, work with. So once I get home, I'll edit those, put them on the site, kind of just see what they look like and go from there. Uh, what are we doing today? Are we going to the farmer's market? We, we're doing that. <laughs> we're gonna go Thanksgiving shopping, so. I know the farmer's market doesn't like you to video or take pictures, but we'll try to sneak it. I don't think they like, they don't want people to see what it looks like in there, like on Google and stuff. For some reason, they wanna keep it a secret, which they should, because that place is so nice. <laughs> It's like you gotta, you just gotta see it in person. I'm in the farmer's market. It is so crowded in here. I decided to just come in an aisle and I ran into flax seeds and I'm really excited about it because flax seeds at the regular store are expensive. And I'm about to get this entire thing of flax seed for my granola for only $2.33. So I'm happy. However, um, I still have to get so much stuff and my cart is already full. So um, I'm just gonna browse in this area with like all the seeds and everything and then i'll try to show you guys my like cart once i get in the checkout line you're not supposed to film in here so blah honestly i cook and shop like i have a family of 10. all right y'all we're almost done i'm just gonna grab some flowers and some eucalyptus because i did not uh remember well i didn't know they had it here i'm so excited though because i just love the freaking eucalyptus so let's get some cute flowers for the dining room. And um, I can even really do my herb garden now that I have all these herbs. It smells so good over here. I'm officially extremely excited for Thanksgiving. Ah! Okay, so I just got home. Um, I am cleaning my kitchen. So I'm about to start my dishwasher. I'm just gonna hand wash some pots and stuff. And then I cleaned out my refrigerator because obviously I need space to store everything uh so this is what my refrigerator looks like right now pretty empty i just have some pizza down here from last night and um and then i have some fresh pumpkin spice syrup that i'll probably put in a smaller container um what else and yeah i'm gonna just like actually wipe out the refrigerator since there's barely anything in here and then we're gonna just i'm just gonna spread everything out all over my counter so that I can get a good photo because I'm excited like ah, ah, ah. okay so yeah that's what's happening I'll show you guys once I get everything out so you can see it all and then I'm actually gonna get to work I have to edit a video and um what else I need to work on the website so that's what I'm doing the rest of the night I just I just feel like it's gonna be a great rest of the week I mean this week has already been really good here's everything so I am missing everything for the macaroni and cheese here and like gravy, um, everything to actually make the gravy and then all dessert items. But I'm about to wash all the produce because I don't like putting, you know, dirty produce in the refrigerator. And I'm going to go ahead and get these flowers arranged on the dining room table and, you know, just make sure everything is ready to go. So I'm excited.
And as they went, they were cleansed. Then One of them, when he saw him, was healed, morning. came back, praising Luke 17, God in a loud voice. He threw himself at Jesus' feet. Y'all, look at this robe. This is amazing. This is incredible. Okay, this robe is from Sunday Rituals. They have a luxe robe as well that you guys saw in another vlog. It's like a um, waffle knit type of robe. I really love it because it's lightweight, breathable, but still warm. But this baby, this is like your cozy. This is a robe. Like, do y'all do y'all see this? Like, this is cute. I'm shocked. My best friend sent me this. And I just love how it cuffs at the um, at the arm here. So, you know, like when you're washing dishes or cleaning up or whatever, and you're doing that in your robe, or you're doing your makeup, your hair, you're not having to worry about like your sleeve getting dirty. I am I am really shocked at this robe, y'all. Y'all have to go get this. Like, this is so comfortable. I'm wearing this all day. So don't judge. Uh, <laughs> and it has pockets. Like, this is the cutest thing ever. It fits so good. I don't have any robe that fits as well. Like, I didn't even know robes had a fit. Like, I'm really shocked. Like, I'm I'm legit in shock. Like, okay, I'm dead. I'm gonna just leave the link down in the description box. Like, I'm really wowzer. I have so much to do today. Like, I can't even wrap my head around how much I need to get done because I procrastinated a little bit. And usually I'm not a procrastinator at all, but I work very well under pressure. So I made myself some coffee because it's definitely a coffee type of morning. Um, I did make decaf though. And I have my uh, hazelnut oolong, the golden hazelnut blend in the coffee steeping. So I'm gonna let that steep for about two to three minutes. And then I have some fresh squeezed orange juice, which I'm going to go ahead and pour up. This is from the farmer's market yesterday. Okay, so I'm gonna grab my planner and kind of plan today uh, because tomorrow morning I'm, I need to make like the sangria and then really start cooking for Thanksgiving. Oh my goodness, and I have the package orders. My assistant was supposed to come today. Lot. <laughs> Just finished taking pictures of the Christmas blend. You guys are gonna love this one. I'm actually about to have a cut myself because I'm gonna go ahead and start on the storage unit. Get that all cleaned out and really start cleaning the house. I've actually been taking pictures for the last few hours of the new blends for uh, the holiday season. So we have the Christmas blend, white chocolate mint matcha, which is amazing. Also a regular like white chocolate mocha. Uh, sangria. Uh, also, of course, I have on my of uh, quality set. Well, I just have on the uh, sweatshirt. I actually have on like some Christmas pajama pants. But this is available on the site now. I'm loving the quality green. Okay, so a sweat set, super nice for the fall and winter season. This is embarrassing. <laughs> this is what my storage unit looks like. It's kind of organized, but it's not. And I need to get rid of a lot of like boxes and whatnot. That's like my mattress box that I just never took to the dumpster. So all of my Christmas decor is all the way in the back. I'm just gonna pull everything out and try to put everything back in, in the order in which I will need this basically until I buy a house. <laughs> I need to put this stuff in the front so that I actually donate it. <laughs> and 
I think I'm gonna do like a gift wrapping set. Oh my goodness, gift wrapping station at the front door. Um, so I'm gonna take all this stuff out in the house and we'll see what we have. And then, oh, this is gonna be so fun. I'm so excited. I need to clean up though before, you know, I take everything out. And I need to make sure I leave a space for this bin so I can put it back. There's bugs, gross. I'm tired, <laughs> but this is everything. <laughs> uh i'm not even i'm not gonna say i'm gonna unpack this tonight mm, maybe in the morning i'm gonna focus on cleaning the house before i put the tree up and i'm definitely gonna need help because i just ooh, i gotta get some work done but i put the mirror over in the entryway and i think it looks great oh, i gotta finish cleaning the floor but i love it because when we take selfies or what is it like boomerangs or whatever you can literally see everything so i'm gonna like straighten up these shelves my travel shelves and obviously this over here is like a bunch of stuff for thanksgiving but i'm really liking it i also moved to my little i had like a shoe thing i'm gonna do cubby thing right here which i feel like the entryway is kind of cluttered so i ended up putting it under this little built-in desk and moved some of my suitcases to the storage unit um yeah, so once I get the tree and everything up, I'll show you guys the complete storage unit look. But I need to edit and clean the kitchen. Quick break from editing. I'm going to mop my floors really quickly so that when I'm done editing, everything's dry and I can just start doing more stuff. Um, does anyone else like do this to their floors? Because I've been just splashing water. I don't know if y'all can see. But I've been splashing water on my floors like this. Oh, it's a bleach and um like this orange stuff grapefruit something but i'd be this is how i'm on my floors y'all <laughs> and i just use this little what is this called i just got it out the wash machine uh don't remember what it's called but the little moppy thingamajig y'all seen these in the store before so yep yeah, gonna mop the floors really quickly my floors are never uh super dirty just because i don't wear shoes in the house you literally be surprised how clean your floors will be after like not mopping them when you don't wear shoes in the house like i usually don't have any dirt on my floors like at all now i'm sure i do around the entryway right now just because i brought all this um christmas stuff in the house today but uh yeah i'm gonna do this really quickly oh you know what before i start let me show y'all the seasoning blends doo, 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 doo. if y'all hear that noise in the background it's just rain i have the windows open because it smells like bleach in here but these are the savory seasoning and spice blends we also have salt and pepper here so the savory uh brand itself is a kitchen essentials brand and i wanted to come out with like seasonings and spices first because so many people ask me how i cook what i season with and also i just noticed so much on social media with like how people cook uploading my video i was literally done editing this at nine and for some reason my ipad was just acting really weird so i'm just now getting it um on youtube and hopefully it uploads really quick it's thanksgiving guys i'm so tired um i still have a lot of work to do today but obviously i'm gonna cook I'm kind of whispering because ap is here i know she's still asleep but i'm gonna start the roast because that takes the longest got the roast here guys it smells so good like the seasoning it's so robust vibrant it's amazing so um 
here we have the rose blends and then of course all of the blends are salt free so i'm adding my own salt and yeah i only used about a tablespoon and a half um and this is like a four pound roast so i'm gonna sear this in my cast iron skillet with some olive oil and butter i also added a little worcestershire sauce how do y'all say worcestershire <laughs> but anyway i added some of that here and then you know we'll add broth and um bay leaves onions garlic wine all that good stuff in the crock pot and let this cook for eight hours <laughs> Sizzle for me. <laughs> my goodness. All right, and then in my in my crock pot, I just have one onion, um, a little rosemary, about two rosemary springs, some thyme. I'm also going to uh, add another onion on top, a bay leaf, and then I'm using this wine. I just got it from the farmers market, y'all. It's like a really cheap wine. Just use whatever you have. Um, what else am I adding in here? I have some beef broth so i'll show you guys what it looks like once it's all up in here and like when i'm pouring everything in i usually use about half of the beef broth but you want to make sure that your roast is covered uh well almost covered so that it really cooks and gets super tender some broth to get all those remnants you don't want to miss any of that goodness down here and then once that uh, comes to a bit of a boil, I'll add in some a little bit of wine. Got a feeling this whole video gonna be copyright because I'm not about to stop this music, but here's the before of the roast. Eight hours, crock pot. The essential blends. And we're gonna cook this for about five hours. I added a little orange juice to this, some sugar, and lastly, I'm gonna add some cinnamon and nutmeg. Day in the life on the phone with Chris and I got the cranberries y'all. I'm about to put this in the refrigerator. Looking so good. Mm -mm -mm -mm. First of all, we don't even have no turkey, but I don't know. Whoop. Oh, we, we legit. <laughs> Just finished one of the Black Friday emails. Sneak peek of all the deals. Free of quality sweatshirt with a hundred dollar purchase, fifteen dollar tea samplers. All teas will be five dollars. It starts at eight p.m. and twenty percent off drinkware. So many new drinkware products. I'm so excited. And then of course we have some new tea blends. Pictured here is the Christmas blend and then sangria. I also have a white chocolate mint that's bomb um and then a little countdown so this is the first email that everybody received today and of course we'll be sending more throughout the day but i think we're going to try to run to the store real quick starting the greens just browning some chicken here for um dressing because we don't have any turkey <laughs> and um we're getting it together about to toast to the sangria <laughs> So we basically have everything prepped here. Everything else is just vegetables. I really like to have a lot of vegetables, y'all. Like no matter what, <laughs> whenever I cook for people. Because I just feel like, you know, the veggies get lost in the sauce. And then you be bloated the next morning. So I need vegetables. So these are the options. Let me show y'all everything that we have going on the stove and all the prep. All right, I'm going to make some. Oh, <laughs> 
Lord. Isn't wrong with that? Uh-uh. No, it's not baked, though. Okay, so I'll take mushrooms. We're going to make Brussels sprouts, zucchini, okra and tomatoes. We have sweet potatoes. I'm going to make yams. And then um, green beans, a little corn. I'm going to make some cream corn. That's cornbread that I made, like, a long time ago. Not long. It was this morning uh, for the dressing. And then I just have, like, peppers and stuff here, some extra herbs and everything whatever i need that for um of course rice which i'm making for the black eyed peas which actually i need to taste the roast is done so that's just on warm in the crook pot and the black eyed peas are right here which mm, i think this may be the best i ever made black eyed peas i'm gonna taste those in a second the greens are going we're gonna cover these let them cook for about you know until people are ready to eat and then this is the stock for the dressing so i browned some chicken put in a bunch of herbs sage thyme rosemary uh parsley of course seasoned it onions garlic and we've just been letting this go this has been on for about an hour and then i have the potatoes back here boiling red potatoes for a nice red mash of course the macaroni and cheese is coming cornbread and whatever else is on my list that i cannot remember right now It's Friday, it's Friday, and it feels like Sunday. <laughs> uh, I feel like, you know, the day after Thanksgiving always feels, you know, like a weekend or something. I don't know. Anyway, I'm glad it's not Sunday. Well, I really like Sundays, but I'm glad that we still have the whole weekend. I'm just about to clean up the kitchen. Um, and then I guess today I'm going to decorate the Christmas tree because we didn't actually get to decorating uh, last night. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm doing. I also have a facial uh, schedule for today. I think I mentioned in the vlog earlier this week that I was supposed to go earlier this week, but I had had to get um, had to do that little content shoot and stuff. So finally gonna go get my facial today. Just made it to my esthetician, y'all. I'm running the Lori. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. Hey girl, Hi. sorry I'm late. <laughs> I hear the heels. I said, is that one too long? She got, she got heels. Girl, no, I, just, I got the big girl. Okay, y'all, I have my coconut enzyme on. I believe this, like, breaks down dead skin. Um, and, you know, just really helps, like, exfoliate your skin. I had actually these goggles on, girl. <laughs> and I was trying to look through the edge of the goggles, and my phone dropped. <laughs> so she had to come in and get my phone, but... Anyway, I'm steaming. You guys can see the steamer. It feels so good. I'm just gonna relax for about two minutes and I'll catch in with you guys. Did my extraction and now we have a mask. Mm -hmm. so, this is the on and off button. This also has an auto shut off. So if you leave it on, it'll automatically shut off on its own. Mm -hmm. The light will also cut off. but. So we have our nozzle here. This is where our blue light antimicrobial comes from. You can kind of see the light in there. Mm -hmm. um, but just to start off with the basic. So this is our base and this is where we get to customize our base here. So you can boil your tea or put your um, stems in there, whatever you prefer. Mm -hmm. But basically just unscrew the top of this. You can also put your essential oils in there. Um, I love a lemongrass essential oil. Okay. Um, that's one of my favorite. You get the nice aroma from that. Um, screw that on there. And voila. Mm -hmm. Put that in there. Push that down. And then we have it. Okay, your perfect. Off button. You have your built-in mirror, which is great. You can sit there and do your facial. You can even use this mirror while your steam is going to pull your hair so you're having the tweeze or get those brows lined up. This is the perfect setup to do it. Um, and of course, it's portable. You can take it with you. You got your little handle there. But yeah, and after just a minute or two, or actually a few seconds, you'll get a nice little amount of steam kind of come out of here mm -hmm. and your nozzle adjusts. So if you want to focus more on the face, push it upward. And focus on the neck and decollete, push it downward. But okay. yeah. Perfect. She's a queen. She's yeah, a She okay, is yeah. definitely customized. <laughs> yes, <for laughs> I love sure. the mirror. That's so good. Yeah, I wanted to incorporate the mirror because a lot of, you know, handheld steamers didn't have that. So, mm -hmm. and that's really important to being able to utilize the steam. What, what good is this right. in front of something you can't even you can't look at yourself. see yourself, right? <laughs> yeah, so. All right, y'all. I got three steamers. Facial first mask. I'm struggling. 
Yeah. My phone literally just dropped on concrete and it didn't even break. Look at that. My camera's gonna die soon, but we decided to come to the mall real quick. Um, go to Zara, figure out what other like quick little shopping we can do. And then we have a dinner reservation just to, well, we're not really gonna get dinner. We're just gonna probably get like drinks and um, just cocktails and like appetizers. But once I get back home and charge up, I'll show you guys what I got if I get anything. Saturday morning, well, kind of like afternoon brunch, making shrimp and grits. Um, I did buy some items at Zara last night, so I'm going to show you guys that before I close the vlog out. But I have my grits going. I'm just keeping it moving because I don't like clump the grits. Um, and I always use like half water, half whole milk. These are the grits I love. Um, I'm not, actually, I'm not like a huge grit lover to begin with, but I'm making you know, shipping great. So it goes well together. I'm gonna saute up some bell peppers, onions, garlic for the shrimp. And secrets, <laughs> I like to add brown sugar and orange juice. Um, if you've been watching my channel for a while, you know that like orange juice is one of my like secret ingredients for a lot of different um, uh, dishes that I prepare. So I'm just gonna finish these veggies and I will show you guys what it looks like. Veggies are sauteing. Of course, I'm using the essential blend from Savory. Make sure you guys go sign up to our newsletter so you can get exclusive launch details. This is about a half a teaspoon. You don't need a lot. I'm gonna put it directly in the pan so that the seasoning can bloom um, before I add in my liquid. Quick shrimp and grits. Bam, bam. Stuff I got from the mall. I went to Zara. They had a 40% off sale. I got these sweatpants, which I'll, actually I'll probably wear tomorrow. Um, uh, so yeah, 40% off of this price. And my friend actually got the same pair. She said they're really comfortable. So I'm excited to wear these pretty much just around the house. And then, you know, if I run errands or like, I don't know, just hang out, wear these. Um, and then I got this really cute set, which I'm excited to try on. So I'll probably try it on in the next vlog. Wherever I go next, I'm sure I'm going to wear this. But it's like a long sleeve. I think this is, what material is this? Um, I don't know. <laughs> but it also comes with like joggers. And I love this color. Thought it'd be really pretty on my skin. I want to know what material this is. This is what the joggers look like. So that's cute. This um, turtleneck and like this mustard. Let me show y'all in the light. I was eating some leftover Thanksgiving food, <laughs> but like this mustard colored uh, turtleneck, which you know, if you know me, you know, I love a turtleneck, so I can't wait to wear this. I think I'm going to style it with like some high waist um, black like ankle pants that I have from Zara and just throw on like a booty or a pump. I think it'd just be really nice to grab lunch or dinner, a simple outfit. Also went to Morphe because they were having, I think a 40 or 50% off sale. I just got a few items. I wanted to actually return this at um, Sephora, but Sephora has changed their return policy. I got this months ago in a vlog, and you guys know that I've been using a different natural deodorant now. I think it's called like Konza Sport or something. So I wanted to return the um, Drunk Elephant one. It hasn't been opened or anything, but they said that their return policy is like changing, so I couldn't return it. Um, got the setting spray because I was out of this. I decided to get a red liner because I never line my lips, y'all, when I wear red lipstick. So this is in the color Well Red. So I'll be using this the next time. And I also just got a clear gloss. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm watching Jumping the Broom right now. I'm about to just clean my room and chill out for the rest of the night because y'all know tomorrow is a full day for me. I love Sundays. Uh, so yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I will catch you in the next video. Bye!